So this is the second time I've tried to film this video. Uh, the first time I filmed it all and had it all done and when I went to go import it to edit it was blurry. So I, there's something wrong with my uh, Canon G12 which is what I normally film on um, because it has an oscillating screen so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to attempt for the first time to film on my Canon Rebel T1i which probably is better for filming but I doesn't have an oscillating screen so I can't see if I'm like in shot or if it's in focus while I'm filming. So we're gonna give this a try. Um, so today is my February book haul. Um, I bought a lot of books in February uh, partially because I had leftover Christmas gift cards and stuff that I hadn't spent yet so I did a big um, online order and I met a lot of friends in coffee shops so that uh, led me to buy a lot more books. Oh well, anyways, uh, so let's get started. Starting off with the online order, I bought the Wildwood Trilogy in hardback. Um, I really like these. I mentioned in an earlier video that I wanted to get them in the hardback just because uh, Wildwood Imperium came out like right after I bought them in the softback. So I wanted them all to be the same. I'm a little bit OCD by that and I really like them. The inside is all red and so on there is a little like bear with a hook and each one has a different animal and they're really nicely done. It's got maps on the inside. Um, so I'm really happy that I exchanged those for the hardback versions. And another exchange I did was Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children in the hardback. Um, I mentioned this in a previous video that I wanted them all in hardback because Hollow City Similar case, it came out in hardback and I also had the graphic novel in the hardback so I wanted them all to match. Then I picked up The Gates by John Connolly. Um, this, I picked this up because I read the Book of Lost Things and I really enjoyed it. So it's kind of a supernatural kind of detective story almost and it's told from the perspective of a young child. I think he's like 12. Um, and his dog Boswell. So it's young Samuel Johnson and his dash hound Boswell. Um, I've started on this. I haven't gotten very far. Uh, I got distracted by other things. So this I definitely need to finish. Next up is John Wyndham's Chalky, which I got on the recommendation of Bookish Thoughts. Um, I also really like John Wyndham. I think I've mentioned before that I love the chrysalids. So yeah, so I got this. I've already read it. It's quite good. Next up is a Melville Publishing House um, contemporary art of the novella, part of that series, and it is Lucinella by Lore Sigal. Um, it's about 1970s literature scene in New York. Really interesting. Um, I haven't finished it, but I've started on it. Next up is Catch Up Clouds by Annabelle Pitcher. Um, this one is about a girl who writes to a murderer in prison because she thinks she's destroyed the lives of the two men who are in love with her. Haven't started on it yet, but I'm really intrigued by this concept. And next up is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sanez. Um, it won a bunch of awards. It's about, it's a coming of age story set in the 80s. Um, in a Mexican-American community. I've read it. It's quite good. I would definitely recommend it. Um, next up, and I'm going to do these out of order, um, Quirk Books sent me William Shakespeare's The Emperor Striketh Back um, by Ian Dosher. Um, I haven't hadn't read this yet and I hadn't read the first one so I ran out and picked up Verily A New Hope, the first one in the series. These are really well um, nicely bound. I like how on um, the second one it's got a green inside and when you take off the slip cover it looks like an old book. They've done a really good job on that. Um, on the inside of the first one it's a blue end pages so I quite like those. Um, next up I got Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door. Both of these I've read already in an ebook version um, with Isla and the Happily Ever After coming out in the same version I thought I'd get them. Um, they're really colorful. I like the edges on them. That's all I really have to say about them. Um, and then I also got in the same purchase The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. Um, this was recommended to me. I haven't read it yet as well as 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, which I have read. 
Um, I have mixed feelings about this. I might do a video on this. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I should do a video on it, given my feelings. Um, next up is The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider, which I have read in ebook version. Um, and I just really wanted the physical copy. Next two were unintended purchases. Um, I, my afternoon class was canceled. My morning class was still on, so I went, and when I got to campus, which is like two hours away, and I had gotten a ride with a friend, uh, that class was cancelled too. So to console myself, I bought The Complete Place of Sophocles, a new translation by Robert Begg and James Scully, um, and Euripides V, which includes Iphigenia and Alice, uh, The Cyclops Rhesus. It is edited by Richard Green in Richmond Lattimore, and it's the third edition. Um, I really like these. I want all of them. Um, I quite like ancient Greek plays. Uh, I went, I have this habit of going into the, uh, the stacks in the bookstore and looking at different professors, what they recommend. Uh, it's also ha partially how I choose my courses for uni. Um, and these were by a professor I had in first year who I quite enjoyed. Next up are my two Art of the Novella um, series subscription. I got The Death of Ivan Ilyich by Leo Tolstoy, which I'm quite excited to read because I quite like Leo Tolstoy, and The Tales of Belkin by Alexander Pushkin, which I don't know much about. I also got The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel uh, Barbary. Um, this is a translation from French. I started it. I haven't gotten very far. I kind of Picked it up, set it aside. I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, next up is Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger, and uh, it is two short stories. I have read Franny, and I need to read Zoe as well. I also finally got this copy of 1984 that I really like. It's one of the Penguin books. Um, I like it because the title is indented and then covered over in black, so you have to, like, turn it in a certain light to read it, like it's being, um censored, which I really like. Um, I also got this beautiful copy of Little Woman that I saw Sana from Books and Quills have as well. It's the Penguin Thread Edition, so it actually feels like it's needlework, and it's just, it's beautiful. I read this um, as well. I actually finished this, and then on the inside it actually looks like what needlework would look like, so that's rather fantastic. Um, and then my last three books are The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart, which I need to read. Um, I've heard really good things about this series, that's why I picked it up. Uh, the 13th Tale by Diana Satterfield, um, which is a really good gothic novel. I have read this and I've watched the movie and I'm planning on doing a review of both. Um, yeah, so if you like things like Jane Eyre or Wuthering Heights, I recommend this. And then last but not least is A Natural Creature Story Selected by Neil Gaiman, and it's a collection of short stories, kind of like a bestiary where it goes through different, each story is about a different type of mystical creature. Um, so I really like this. I've been reading this every night. I've been choosing a different short story to read. Um, so I'm not very far in it. I'm taking my time with it. I really enjoy it. I find with short stories, it's best not to read them all together just because I tend to find I muddle them a bit, so I'm just reading it slowly. Oh. Um, I also bought a lot of journals. I got the Listography Travel, Music, and Film and 642 Things to Write, which I quite enjoy. And then last but not least, because of the Olympics, um, Amazon.ca had a sale where all Kindles were $20 off. So my old Kindle, which I've had for almost four years, the screen is just starting to get little black spots on it that are like not fully obscure in words, but it's it's going to become a problem. So I upgraded to the newest version. Um, I bought the cheapest one. I'm probably going to do a Kindle versus Kindle version once I've had some good reading time with this. I also need to get a new case for it. Um, it doesn't fit my old case. It's a lot smaller than my old one. So yeah, that is my February book haul in which I bought way too many books, but it happens. I'm going to try and hopefully read through some of the stuff I haven't read. Um, 
and buy less books in March to save my bank account a little bit. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!